hi everyone welcome back i hope that you've had a lovely week and a lovely weekend we had really really nice weather up north um on the sunday actually the saturday it was awful it was so so gloomy um and yeah but the sunday was absolutely glorious it was really really nice that was yesterday um so i hope you had a lovely weekend and in today's video we are going to be um checking out for april week one so let's just jump straight into it so I'm going to go into my budget planner, um, now these are, I got mine from Amazon but I know the price has gone up ridiculously um, since, I, since I bought mine last year but I didn't really use it last year because it was right on the time that we stopped um, everything to do with budget and when we found out I was pregnant. Um, so yeah let me just get you zoomed in and I'm going to make a conscious effort to make sure that you're in focus this time because <laughs> Um, the last few times hasn't been great. Um, so, just to quickly note as well over here, um, I've got my goals for April. So we've got 500 subscribers. Might not hit it. I think I'm at like 437. But, you know, ambition. So we're an ambitious goal of hitting 500 by the end of April. I'd like to have 10 no spend days. I don't know whether that's achievable, but we'll, we'll try. And I had written down £50 in side hustle. However... If you'd seen on my Instagram, if you follow me over there, um, basically we've took a massive pay cut in the fact that we've had obviously two more children and um, I no longer kind of get any pay and this is our, sorry, next month will be our first month of having none of that extra pay. So basically what I'm trying to do is side hustle um, some of that money back. So I worked out what I need to side hustle is around £400 this month to go towards our um pay next month i would usually do that um side hustle as an extra thing but i'd rather just add it onto our pay as if that's kind of the money that i've brought to the table because yeah i, f I do find it quite hard not bringing any money into the house i mean it was our decision um for me to stop working and to look after the the children that was kind of the the most practical thing to do because three children in childcare is just ridiculous. Um, it's ridiculous up north, so down south I bet it's even worse. But that's by the by. So that one's kind of not, that goal's kind of not in order anymore. Anyway, so let's just dive straight into it. So on Tuesday of last week when we were paid, we put £40 worth of fuel in the car um, and that came out of our cash envelopes. And we also did a Tesco food shop for £50 and 43 pence, which again was out of our cash envelopes. On the Wednesday, um, I went out for with my mum and dad and the girls for a little bit. And my, my dad watched George while Alex was at work. And did a little bit of shopping, went into Asda. And um, in Asda, what did I get? £10 was on some swimming costumes for the girls and 3 75 was on, um, what was that on? Oh, it was for some um, baby Vicks because we've all been struck down with a cold. Um, but that came out of sinking funds. And then the £2.75, um, that was from my cash envelope, that was from my spending money. So that was a jar, actually I don't know where that jar is must be in the car, I'll have to have a look for that. And some little bunny feet for, for Easter to do a little trail for my little boy. Then we went into Home Bargains um, and we spent 5 99 on some little pyjamas, Easter pyjamas for George. Um, so that came out of the clothing sink fund. He needed new pyjamas anyway, so I just thought, let's just go with a the theme. <laughs> Not that he will really understand, he's only one. Um, and then the other £6.25 was on food. Um, so I just picked up some like little snacks, raisins for George and stuff like that. That came out of our cash envelopes. And then we went into Smith's and I bought George a little like bouncing cow thing for Easter. Um, and again, that just came out of our Easter sinking fund. So all within budget, which is nice. And then on the Thursday... Um, we went to a hospital appointment for George and um, we went past a petrol station where the fuel was like a lot cheaper than it is around our way because the 
to hospitals quite a little way away. Um, so we topped up to make it to get it full, and because my husband hadn't done that for some reason on the Tuesday, I don't know why. And that cost £64. So we did take some money from like further down the line's month this month's fuel money just to it was worth it. Um parking was four pounds and I just took that out of change that I had in my purse already. And then we did have a McDonald's, um, which was definitely unbudgeted, but we both felt like we needed a little treat um after the hospital appointment and we've had quite a hectic morning a bad night with the twins um yeah and it was just needed on the friday we had a no spend which is nice and the saturday we went out for breakfast with um alex's like mom and stepdad and family and stuff um and that came to 24.95 now this technically wasn't budgeted this was an unbudgeted spend however we had money left over in our groceries envelope so I just took it out of there so I'm just going to put that this came out from cash envelopes because technically although it was unbudgeted um it still hasn't kind of come out of money that we haven't budgeted for to come out of money that we we had kind of sitting there and then yesterday on Sunday we went to the gardens our local garden centre and they have this like um what would you call it it's like almost like a wildlife centre I would say. They've got like a birds of prey centre and then they've got um, an, an area with ducks and reptiles, birds, turtles, tortoises, all that kind of thing. Um, and that was £12 entry for the, four, the, well, the five of us I suppose because the girls came as well. Um, which I don't think is too bad and George honestly loved it. We spent so so long in there so that came out of our adventures envelope and then today I'm filming this on Monday night and um, today was a no spend day we just spent it in the house Alex was obviously at work and yeah we didn't really get up to anything so two no spend days already which is good and um, yeah it just feels nice to kind of keep track of it like this I've never done kept track of what I've spent before like this which is yeah it's different for me um, so now let's grab my purse, the new Safiano, and have a look what change we've got in there. Okay, so. Let's jump in. The girls have still got £30 in there. We haven't bought anything else in there. Groceries has got £25. £26 and some change household um we're gonna roll the five over but we're just gonna take this change out so it's 150 there fuel has got six pound in i'm actually not going to take that pound out i'm just going to leave it in because you know when you get like it's 50 pound and 43 pence and um, that might come in handy my spending has got two pound Adventures we don't touch and miscellaneous has five left so we'll take that out and then I think I've got some other like random change in here so that is that as empty as we are going to get it just check yeah so got 30 pounds in notes and then we've got four in pounds two fifties right so let's grab my savings binder and i'm just going to get rid of let's get rid of the 50s first So we are popping two fifties in and we're going to cross off another two which is good starting a new row. I think I've only been doing this for about three weeks now and it's really built up. Um, I thought it was going to take a while because I felt like I didn't really get 50p's but obviously we do. And this is what the jars for that I bought, I put these 50 pences in because that's not going to it's not going to last very long. 
and I don't have my eye pedal with me to do the penny to cross off the pennies but the ink count of what we've got we've got 20 40 60 80 1 10 25 26 27 and 28 so 128 which is going off the penny challenge I'm just going to pop this at the top here um and I'll deal with that once um I'll deal with that once I'm finishing the video so we've got 30 pound and then four so let's put the 20 pound in to pop the rainbow which is a challenge I'm doing to um go towards my husband's 30th at the end of the year so let's colour this one in I was thinking the other day if we could do £20 every week from groceries into this um, that would take a big weight off, off my shoulders so in Pop the Rainbow we now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1 which is a brilliant start and this one saves 700 I'd really like to get it to the £1,000 mark for his 30th because obviously it's a big birthday we want to go away and yeah so I'd really really like to get that to the £1,000 mark but we'll see um then we're going to put get it out. We might as well put both of these fives in here. And I definitely use the wrong pen. I don't know if this is the right or wrong pen, but one In Fibre Fryer we now have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And again, this is building up really nicely. And I don't know what this is for, it's just a random savings. And the last bit is the four pounds which is going to go off the gold rush so let's do one two three four and we'll pop that into this little pouch which is really cute that is that done and that is literally it for this checkout um so that is it for this week's checkout it was a little bit of a spendy week but i don't feel too bad about it because apart from the mcdonald's it was all budgeted money um obviously we took the money out of our grocery money anyway so it's not not the end of the world um but yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one bye